Every day, when I catch up on the latest news around the internet, it feels like at least one headline will make me pause and wonder, is this supposed to be a joke? We've got QAnon just now realizing that one of the most famous bands of all time, the Beatles, were woke. Or what about the major cable news network trying to push a military pup kink conspiracy? Those are both real things that happened this month. We are all trying to do our best, keep our heads down, and get through the holidays. But now this strange and wild news just won't leave us be. The clown who won't go away, also known as Donald Trump, dropped 45,000 NFTs depicting himself in absurd, very photoshopped, masculine, poses, to drum up some quick cash. I wish it were a joke, but it's painfully real. At least, the boys found a way to make us laugh through the nausea caused by DT's NFTs. There are many terrible images to choose from among these cursed NFTs. In one, Trump plays dress-up as a sheriff. There's another where he rides an elephant just like a big boy. But the image that keeps showing up is one in which Trump is supposed to look like a hypermasculine superhero, you know, very realistic art. The superhero getup looks pretty similar to one worn by Homelander on Amazon's The Boys, even down to the American flag cape. There's another in which Trump is shooting red lasers out of his eyes, just like Homelander's superpower. In perfect, The Boys fashion, they made their own major announcement. The official VOD International Twitter account announced Homelander Digital Trading Cards. Of course, the tweet read very similar to Trump's own, this is an exciting deal and you should buy now before all of them are gone. The image showed Homelander in his signature suit, heroically looking out into the distance. Maybe if I buy the Homelander Digital Trading Card, I will be as cool and masculine as him. Most of us are laughing at the hilarious similarities between Trump and Homelander, but I think the irony would be lost on Trump and his followers. They have a history of thinking it's a good thing for Trump to be compared to the sociopathic villain from the boys. I guess they are alike in many ways, but none of those similarities are cause for celebration. At least it makes it easier to pick out the villains, as long as they keep dressing like each other. Thank you for watching, smash that like button, leave a comment if you enjoyed watching, and share the video on your social media. Please follow and subscribe to News USA Today, and hit that notification icon.